The best bags for every possible occasion. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by QNAP. Network storage made awesome. Before we even get started today, I want to give a shout out to Hubert G, Mark F, and Keith J for tagging the Geek House Wall of Fame by purchasing a plaque. Thanks, guys. You like how I gave them the John P. treatment with their last names? That's was, that was awesome. Remember, you can immortalize your name on the Geek House by heading to geekbeat.tv forward slash fundraiser. Dave... Let's go handheld for this episode. Well, Dave, it's bag day. And I'm not talking about the bags under your eyes. Thanks. I'm talking about bags, every kind of bag you can imagine. A lot of you guys ask Callie and I about the types of bags we carry. Usually, you ask us about our backpacks. And we're going to get to that in a minute, but not yet, Dave. Eyes here. Anywho, we also do a lot of traveling. And several of you have asked, what kind of bags are we using for traveling? Now. I have literally traveled like a million miles on airlines, so I've been through every kind of bag there possibly, I mean, everything they make. Uh, Toomey's, Travel Pros, just every brand you can imagine, I've spent a ton of money on a big, bags. The big steamer trunk. Indeed, even those. And, you know, people to carry them, of course. Yes. But what I have found out after tearing through thousands and thousands of dollars of the bags, is that the best bag money can buy is from Costco. I kid you not. This is the 22 inch Costco branded Kirkland roller bag. I have been carrying this particular bag now for, I don't know, at least a couple of years, which is a big deal because I used to spend like five or 600 bucks on a Toomey thinking, this is the expensive, but it's worth it because it's the best quality and the handles would break, the wheels would fall off, it would be terrible. This little $99 Costco bag is absolutely in, un, indestructible. It has been all over the place. So, a few things. First of all, this is the 22 inch version. It has normal, uh, normal rolling wheels, but you will notice these are pretty big, hefty wheels. They've got really nice bearings on them, and because they're larger wheels and they're wider as well, they roll really nicely. Now, they do put a handle on the end here, so when you want to pick it up, you got handles on both sides. I like that a lot. There's a, a bunch of other neat, nifty little features. I'm going to show you some stuff on the inside, but very basic stuff on the outside. There are two bags right here on the outside. I know it sounds silly, but seriously, there's one small bag here, which some people might want to put like a, uh, I don't know, your airline tickets. I keep my Kleenex in there. <laughs> I have like a whole bunch of Kleenex in here. These little travel things fit perfectly right here. If you have bad allergies, you've got to have Kleenex nearby because you can never get to them. And then there's a bigger bag right here which is great for like books or things like that that you need to have just nearby. Because the 22 inch bag, this one will fit in the overhead so you carry it on with you. Okay, let's take a look at some of the inside stuff. Oh, there is also one other large uh, pocket right here, which I don't know, you can put all kinds of stuff. It comes with a little strap that will connect right here so you can hang another bag a smaller bag, you connect it to this one, and you can roll it with it hanging off the back. Okay, now let's take a look on the inside. A few features. First of all, uh, Costco gives you a garment bag specifically made to zip in right here. And the garment bag is nothing special, but if you want to put, like if you're a lady and you need to put a dress to keep it from wrinkle, or a jacket for a guy, or I'll put dress shirts in here, it works and it fits specifically in the pocket, so that's good. Also, there are shoe uh, bags right here, so you can put some shoes. There's a zipper up here, so you could put like a t-shirt or something like that. I, um, I want one of these for Christmas, hint, hint. <laughs> I mean, for 99 bucks, everybody should, th honestly, this is what you should take, the whole family, except there's one other little exception I'm gonna show you in a second. Now, on the inside, it's got a nice little, uh, uh, retention thing here with a strap that you pull tight 
uh, once you get your bags in there or, or your stuff in there. Now, a lot of people, I know you just like to put your clothes in here, pile them up and then strap them down. I do not recommend that at all, but I'm gonna show you what I recommend in a second. First, to the really crazy stuff here. This bag has two straps right here and here. They're called expand, auto expand straps. Okay, what you can do with this is when you lift these little sides up, you pull this and do you see how that expanded? Watch how, bam. It doesn't zip. Like no, it does not zip. Zippers suck. This has springs, it expands, it is nice and expanded. Look how much bigger it is. Now, when I wanna close it, what you do is you load it up with your stuff, you strap them together with this thing right here, then you grab these two handles, uh, there we go, and you pull down and cinch it tight like that. How awesome is that? 99 bucks for this thing. It also comes with a little, uh, a uh, little kind of bag that you can snap in right here for your toiletries and stuff, and there are zippers on each side. So I just, I mean, I don't know what could beat this bag as far as traveling is concerned and the price, with one exception. And that is, in some occasions, you want an even bigger version. This is the 30 inch roller. Um, and I like this because of two things. First of all, it's got all the same stuff, basically, with the exception of the expandability. It doesn't expand, but it's already big enough, and you're gonna have to check it no matter what you do. But on the inside, this one has an even better, bigger uh, uh, garment bag, okay? And it's got bigger pockets on the inside. It still has these little strap things. And then it has these four, rolly kind of wheels. Now, when I first saw this kind of bag, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little concerned. I thought, ah, I couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly like that because you can't really tilt it, it's gonna spin all over, it's not gonna roll properly. People, I was wrong, awesome. I was wrong. This thing is awesome. You can load it up with 50 pounds worth of junk and literally I'll hold it like this and walk beside it in the airport and it just rolls, okay? And sometimes, if you need to tilt it back, you actually can still do that. You can tilt it, and it will roll on these two wheels. So, fantastic, fantastic bag. This one is not much more than that. It's like maybe 129 at Costco. So if you don't have a Costco membership, find a friend or relative that does, and go get you those bags for travel. Okay, moving right along. We're gonna talk about the Tilt Energy Bag. Now, I first came across these uh, years ago, about two years ago, I think, at a CES pre-event, and I fell in love with these bags because this is the kind of bag that geeks really need. It has a big zipper that will allow it to open right up down the middle. It's now, like those power bags that we first came across it is, years ago. This, yes, power They're bag, the next level. they stopped making power bags, so this is what replaced them for us. So you zip it open and now it can go flat through the uh, x-ray machines when you're traveling, okay? If you travel a lot. So that's good if you're not TSA approved and you need to open up your stuff. The laptop goes over in this section and it, I keep my little bitty one, but you can see it will hold a big old laptop. My, my 17-inch MacBook Pro fits great. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, great. Now over here, there's actually a big giant battery built in. It's like a 10, uh, 10,000 know, milliwatt battery and it has multiple outputs. There's three different outputs here. And you, it has all these little strappy things. So you can see what I did was, I have a, uh, an Apple cable and a USB cable and I just looped them around here to take out the slack. And those go through there into a second zippered area here which easily accommodates two, I have two different tablets in there, both of which are charging. Yep. So they're built in charging. And I could have another one, let's say running through here, to, for example, this little tiny pocket right here, which I keep all kinds of junk in there, you know? It's perfect for your phone. Mints or 
These are Advil or yeah, you put your phone, your sunglasses. In fact, it comes with a sunglass case that goes in there, but I took it out because I have my own. But you can put your phone up here. You could have two tablets plus your phone charging or you know any combination of devices like that. Now, it's also got a large interior pocket here that I really like. Let you just load it up with other junk. And it acts kind of like a regular suitcase kind of bag. It kind of does. It's, it's not it's not it's not vertical. It's it's a nice yeah. nice flat. You could easily like roll up some clothes and put stuff in here and this could be your day bag and you could that'd, that'd be it. You're done. Now, it comes with a little tilt kind of zipper bag and originally when when I saw this I was like I don't know if I'm going to use that. But guess what? I do. I keep all my little uh, I don't know, cables and junk like that in here. So uh, and it's triangular and fits flush in the bottom. Yeah, and, and that's what I really, really liked about it. It's the perfect width and it goes perfectly flat just like that. And other stuff still goes in there. I like that it's got these little zipper pockets. You can see I keep a, my little uh, laptop charger here. I keep a maybe a little um, hard drive right there. Of course, I've got both both types of on-ear and in-ear Kef headphones with me at all times. Um, and then it's got other little pockets and zippers up here. So it's got lots of, lots of them, oh, pen, pen holders on the side, another pocket over here. I usually keep a power adapter there and additional pockets everywhere else you look. Right here is a pocket. Sunglasses could go in here because it's lined. Um, I actually keep my uh, hot spot in that particular pocket for easy access usually. Over here, we've got a pocket big enough for a camera. Then on the other side, we have a drink holder and behind the drink holder, a super special pocket here that is perfect for business cards. Real easy to get at them. So, um, I really, really cannot recommend any other backpack besides this one right now if you carry computers and cameras and you know stuff with you. And to cap it all off, it's got a wonderful uh, padded shoulder rest, padded back, and look, a pass-through for you to put it on the uh, rolling handle for your, for your luggage when you don't want to carry it around your back. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, these little yellow tags, I've got them on all of the bags right here. Get these off of Amazon. They're like, I mean like five bucks. It's just a zipper, I mean a Velcro little tag. That will help you distinguish your bags from everybody else's. So just get one of those and if you start seeing too many of these, write on it, draw on it, do something like that, you know? Now, of course, whenever I carry my tilt backpack around, I always have my laptop in it. But the one thing my laptop can't do is it can't give me unlimited storage. However, QNAP can. So whenever I'm uh, at the office or at home, I have my computer on the network and it maps to the QNAPs uh, that we have in our network. And I can store all my stuff. I back up all of my photos all of my documents. Good God, if anything ever happened to my computer, I would die, except that I have a complete backup. So you guys check that out. Get yourself a good old QNAP. Go to QNAP.com. Tell them John P. sent you. Okay, let's keep this sucker going because now it's time to get to the sportier side of Geek Beat. And we're going to do that with a glow bag. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The first time I heard of the glow bag, I thought, it could be the greatest bag in the world, but it's called a glow bag. That doesn't sound great to me. Man, was I wrong. I'm always wrong, Dave. Yeah, all the time. Okay. Anyway, I, I, I wish that there was a slightly manlier name for this particular bag, but I don't care because it is the greatest gym bag I have ever even dreamt of in my life. Let's take a look at it. First of all, you're gonna notice it's got a really, really solid, nice handle here. It's got a heavy duty rubber handle with a good heavy duty strap. The webbing is all sewn in. I mean, the, the, the actual construction of the bag is just fantastic. There's another hook uh, right here and it is made to be the perfect size to fit in a gym locker. So you could take this, put it in your gym locker, you could hang it, on the little gym handles there 
and, and you're good to go. It also, as you can tell, has straps so you can wear it like it's a backpack. Now, when we unzip it, oh, I just realized I forgot to tell you about some the price of the uh, the other bag, right? The right. Tilt Energy bag used to be one ninety nine, now one twenty nine on Amazon. Amazing. And how much is this one? This one, that's why I thought about it. One nineteen. So basically, this one is one nineteen. That one's one twenty nine. These are very very affordable, especially for the quality you're getting. Okay, so we've got multiple layers of stuff here, which I really like because we're keeping things separated. On the bottom are my gym shoes, which obviously I walk around on the floor, they get dirty, I don't want them messing everything you up. You have a hard time if you've got size 15 or something. Maybe, but I don't know. I mean, I'm a size 11 and there's still, still, got some room. There's still plenty of room, you know, so I mean, yeah, I, I think, you know, for most people, you're going to be able to fit your shoes in there. Now, the second level, what I do is I keep my pre-made kind of little uh, shake things. So what happens is these are cool little, uh, that you just buy these for like 12 bucks, but you can see they have uh, different compartments in them. So you can do, well, if I could get this one apart, I kind of made it too tight. You can do, for example, what I have here, if I didn't make this one too tight as well. Here we go. Protein in the bottom, mm -hmm. and then a post-workout powder here, and then on top of those, on the inside, I've got my pre-workout drink. Oh. Yeah, right. And look, the top of this has a little shaker kind of agitator. So when I fill that with water, um, I put this on nice and tight, shake it up. This is like 12 bucks. These are well worth it. So you see, you see what I do is I keep two of these right here in the middle level. Then on the top level, I keep all my clothes. I've also got my little polar heart rate monitor. I've got all kinds of clothes up in here. I mean a lot of clothes in here. Socks, everything. You could use this as an overnight bag. You, oh, easily, easily. And it's a backpack, so you can carry it around with you. And then, check this out. Over on the side here, there's a super secret little pocket. And it's got a, it's mesh and everything. What I do is I stick my wallet and keys and things like that right up in here so that even with all the all kinds of junk in there, I have easy access to those. Then you zip it all up, bingo bango, you are good to go. So I mean I really, really like this bag. Also, it does come, there's another pocket here. I don't know what you'd use it for, but it comes with a cover. So, uh, or, oh, no, this is the dirty, that, sorry, for your dirty clothes or whatever. I think, uh, yeah, okay, there, yeah, that's not very deep. I thought this one, I may be wrong. I was thinking it came with a cover or something. No, it's a different one, I remember. Okay, it's a different one. Anyway, another pocket back here, drink holder back here, all good. Well, well worth the money. So, that will get you set up for the gym. Now, the big one. For those of you who are golfers, this is the OGO, I don't even know how you pronounce it. OGO. OGO Aquatech golf bag. Why do they call it an Aquatech? They call it that because the dang thing is as waterproof as it could possibly be. Let me get some of these bags out of the way here. Now, you have to examine this one kind of closely to get all the goodies. First of all, let me tell you the pricing on this one before I forget. It's about 250 bucks. That is a good deal for a really good golf cart bag. Why is it a golf cart bag? This one does not have, this isn't the kind that when you lean it over as the legs that automatically retract. So you probably would not want to carry this one around. But if you're riding in a golf cart, like most of us do most of the time, or at least in Texas, it has a nice, uh, strap right here that you can go right through to strap it on the back of the bag and all these compartments. Now if you look at the seams, Dave, first of all this is all a waterproof kind of material, but look at this seam. You can see that it is waterproof, okay? And they put these really nice little handles on the zippers. I really like those handles, okay? So you got three different sizes of, of uh, what do you call it? Pockets here. Pockets. And then you've got the big pockets on the side, 
which are actually big enough to accommodate like your golf retrieval kind of umbrella. stick thing. There's an umbrella uh, uh, holder right here. And then there are smaller pockets up on this top here. You can see I've got some balls in there. And of course, because you can never, you can never lose enough balls on the golf course, I've got a lot of balls in this, in this side and just, you know. You know I'm a real golfer because I've actually like lost the cover for my, for this particular iron. And uh, one of my other irons, my pitching wedge is missing. It's left on a golf course somewhere back there. So let's talk about this area up in here for just a minute. All of the, these particular uh, slots are padded, which is good for your graphite shafts and stuff. And what I really like, you'll see the way I've got mine organized. I have used the outer area here to put all the clubs in order. There's the nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, missing pitching wedge, sand wedge, putter. So I've got that around the outside. You still have four spots on the inside for your woods. My one, five, and three. Some people might have an extra driver in here. So you need it, a seven wood. Right. Troubleshooting. So it keeps everything very organized. You get to it in the right spots. I like that. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys other than the fact that it's a great bag. It's comfortable. It does have a uh, top that you can put on over it if you, want, if you want to keep these things dry, although I never worry about that because I get them dirty. Um, so that would make a great gift for the golfer in your life, especially if the golfer is you. All right, well, Dave, I guess this one's in the bag. Ah. You guys, thumbs up on YouTube if you like the bag roundup. And uh, stay tuned for more. Geekbeat.tv and YouTube.com forward slash GeekbeatTV. I'm out of here. I got, a, I got an appointment, you know, on the back nine. Okay. Bye, guys. You're not working today. No, no, I'm out of here.